Hey guys, Blue Lover 79 here with my Christmas Day haul video. Yes, I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas. Um, some stuff that I actually didn't ask for, but I got. And uh, yeah, I was very excited when I got this on Christmas morning. Usually I don't get a lot of presents, probably one or two. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you my haul right now. Hope you guys enjoy it. So here we go. Show you the Blu-rays first. Um, number one is a movie that I didn't catch in theaters. But I did catch on pay-per-view when it came out just a few weeks ago. And I really enjoyed it very much. And that is Guardians of the Galaxy here on Blu-ray. Yes. Now this is the um, Walmart exclusive um, Guardians of the Galaxy. With those different um, slip covers they had with uh, Rocket Raccoon, Groot. You know, Star Lord, Gamora, and Drax the Destroyer. <clears throat> so, um, I guess when I was watching the movie, I guess my mom, my mom must have noticed that I like Rocket a lot. So she decided to go get the Blu-ray with Rocket the Raccoon with the uh, slip cover. So she did, and uh, it's pretty cool. Look at that! It's an awesome slip cover. And here's Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, this was the one that was about uh, twenty-two dollars, but my mom got it for me, so it's pretty cool. I actually saw it four times on um, pay-per-view, and I actually seen it twice on Blu-ray, so I've basically seen it six times. And let me tell you, this movie is so cool. This movie is awesome, and um, one of the best science fiction, you know, films I've seen in a really long time, right up there with the J.J. Abrams 2009 Star Trek, and uh, yeah, this movie was just fun, and um, I'm cool, and i am now become a big fan of Rocket, and the other... You know, Star Lord and Gamora, Drax and Groot are great, but you know, Rocket is awesome and is great. Look at that slipcover, man. That's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, really did enjoy this film. I could not talk, stop talking about this film. And uh, yeah, when I do my top five uh, movie, favorite movies of 2014, this might, I don't know if this was going to go one or two, three, but uh, yeah. So yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy with the uh, exclusive one more slip, Rocket Raccoon. Next up is a movie that uh, basically changed the game. When it started off being comic book movies, really it was Blade in 1998, and then with X-Men in 2000, and uh, yeah, and then uh, sort of the X-Men franchise has gone down. But uh, you probably know what I'm talking about, and this movie basically changed the history of why X-Men is great again, and that's X-Men Days of Future Past here, yes. This was also a movie that I did see in theaters, and I really loved it. Um, Ryan Singer came back to direct um, this movie about the future and the past, trying to change the course of history to save mutants from the Sentinels. And uh, let me tell you, it was great. It's a Brian Singer movie, so you know it's not going to have a lot of action, but it actually did not bore me whatsoever. I have seen it five times, and it is just a great film. Um, well written, well directed. Um, everybody here got their opportunities. In the film, you know, Wolverine was a set mainstay in the movie, trying to get gather everybody together, but he wasn't really the focus. It was more of Magneto and uh, Mystique, <clears throat> and you know, and Doctor X's uh movie. But I really enjoyed the film. The Sentinels looked great in the future and the past. Everybody was awesome. This was a great film. Um, this was also another Christmas present, so it was awesome to get this. I was gonna buy this, but you know, like I said, I had to save money for Christmas presents for the family so I didn't get it but they got it for me it's pretty cool it's the blu-ray and digital HD I actually gave the digital HD to my friend so um yeah X-Men Days of Future Past great movie next up is another great movie of 2014 it's a sequel to the 9th 2000 2012 hit yes Dawn of the Planet of the Apes yes I saw this in theaters and really loved it I really enjoyed this film. Um, a lot of people saying they still love Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I love both, but this one is actually, to me, a stronger film. Um, does have action, but has a better story of Caesar trying to make peace and trying to keep the colony of apes safe. And these new humans come in and thought the human race was gone, but survivors are coming in just to you know restore power. To live a regular life and then Koba if everybody had that's not Koba who's uh, Caesar's uh, second in command if you're not seen Dawn of the Planet so I'm gonna give it away but you know what I'm talking about if, if, who's seen it it's a great film it's well directed um, Andy Serkis does a great job 
as Caesar. Toby Kebbell as uh, Koba was awesome. Koba, he should get nominated for Best Villain at the MTV Movie Awards this year. Um, just a great film. I really enjoyed it. I've seen it like eight, seven times already. I don't know what it is. It's just a great film. To me, it's rewatchable. A lot of people say it's not, but, you know, I grew up with the Planet of the Apes, re uh, you know, movies when I was a kid and the uh, short-lived TV series. And, uh, yeah, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Next up, I got uh, a, something that I really was supposed to get during the day it came out. And um, I didn't, and um, but I got it from my little sister, and she picked it up for me for Christmas, and I was I was so surprised to get it, and that's Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare here on the PlayStation Three. Yes, um, um, I wanted to get this during Black Friday, but they I had sold out, and um, so I guess my sister like heard me talk about not getting it and stuff like that, so I guess she picked it up for me. Um, it is on rack because I've been playing it. I haven't been playing it the last couple days because I've been busy with work. But I'm glad I have it. I know that people shit on the Call of Duty franchise because it's one every year. But I love it. To me, it's just fun for me. It's something to keep me entertained for a few hours. I have all the Call of Duties back here. All of them. And even the ones for the PlayStation 2. I'm a big fan of the Call of Duty games. Um, I can't tell you too much about the plot. I know it's based in the future. I don't... That uh, our homeboy Kevin Spacey, he looks just like Kevin Spacey in this game. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy I got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for my little sister on PlayStation 3. This is great. This is a great present. Next up, I got a CD, and uh, it's from my favorite rock band. Or as a lot of people uh, basically shit on this band, I don't know why. And that's Nickelback's new CD. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of theirs. I didn't even know they even had a new CD until my sister, got, my other sister, got me the CD for Christmas, and uh, I opened this up and I was like, "Wow, CD, a new Nickelback CD, and it's no fix address." And I'm like, "I didn't know they even had one." But uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Nickelback. I um, have all their CDs, and um, I'm glad my little sister got me this. My other little sister, and uh, just a great Christmas. I don't know what was going on, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, and. Uh, yeah, I'm looking over there for some reason, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a great CD. I've listened to it like probably just once, but I could have been busy, but I will be listening to it immensely more times in the coming days. But uh, yeah, it's Nickelback CD. Next up, I got a couple of gift cards here. Um, I actually got a $30 Amazon gift card. They come in ten, not a like single um, $10 um, gift cards. I got this from my mother. Um, I've already ordered one movie with my gift card here so i basically just have twenty dollars left i actually got a cool movie off amazon that should be here by next week and i'll put that in my next update towards the end of january so yeah my mom got me a gift card to uh amazon which was pretty cool and uh i also got a dunkin donuts gift card here from work worth 25 dollars, which was pretty nice so yeah it was pretty good christmas man gift cards dunkin donuts and uh Amazon. Next up is, um, you guys know on my channel that I collect action figures and stuff like that. I haven't really picked up anything in a while since I think the last video I did was my Captain America the Winter Soldier uh, video and I picked up the uh, Batman, um, 1989 Batman, Michael Keaton Batman and uh, that's it. I haven't picked up action figures since then. I think in September so it's been a long couple months. So I ended up, for some reason, I didn't even know they even had this, this Series 6. And I ended up getting this as a Christmas gift as well. And it's a Series 6 edition of The Walking Dead with the Governor from uh, season, I think, season, end of season 3 and season 4. And, um, you know, I do have the Governor up here. That's from, I think, season uh, 3. This is sort of the involvement of the Governor when he started getting the uh, eye patch and the coat. And uh, it's pretty cool. I haven't even opened it or anything yet. And uh, I'll be adding him into the collection. And uh, I was very surprised to get this. Um, it is a Series 6. And it's pretty cool to see the governor. And uh, yeah, in this box set, I think with this new Series 6, you get Abraham Ford, Carol, another Rick Grimes, you get Herschel, and you get the governor. You know, and now I basically just have to get Herschel, Carol, and Abraham. That's going to be a hard task, but I can get that. And uh, like I'm 
stoked. I know people have issues with the Walking Dead, but when it comes to the Todd McFarlane, you know, um, action figures, they do a great job with with the rendering of their faces and stuff like that. And I know people keep them in a box and stuff like that, but I don't think that once the show is over, I don't think these action figures are going to have any value to them anyway, except if you have Daryl. Which, that's the only one that I hate, is like, Daryl is the only most expensive stupid action figure. Like, he has to be $30, $40, and everybody else is like $10 to $15, which I don't get. It's bullshit. But I'm happy I have the governor here on, um, it's awesome. Yeah, can't wait to put him up there with his other, uh, Walking Dead compadres. Alright, next up is nothing movie related, video <laughs> game music. Or gift cards, nothing like that. But I kind of have to show it because it is embarrassing. But uh, yeah. And if you get this, you know what I'm talking about for Christmas if you're a guy. And that's basically I got a box. A, bo a bod, bod man body spray um, collection here. I got a body wash. Warm and sexy fragrance. And warm and sexy 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. Yeah. And I do need it because I'm a guy. And I usually every year from... For my family, I end up getting a lot of colognes, but this year they just gave me this, and this is like, you know, this is like a $20 thing, but it's pretty cool, and the Bodman does smell good, and look at the size of these things, too, so that should last you a while. Yeah, gotta smell good for those ladies. So, yeah. All right, guys, that was my Christmas Day haul video. Um, It is kind of late. It is a week late, but I'm shooting this video right now on New Year's Eve, and uh, yeah, all right, guys, uh, tell me, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you guys got for Christmas. What did you get? Um, what you were happy, happy to get? Happy, happy. What was the one gift that you enjoyed that you got this year from your loved ones? I know that I'm happy about um, basically Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and the Governor Series 6 action figure on top of that with the uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. X-Men Days of Future Past, and <laughs> the awesome Guardians of the Galaxy with a Rocky Raccoon slip. Man, this is great. And I also got the Nickelback CD, and, uh, you know, I usually don't get a lot of gifts, and the gift cards. Yes, get my Dunkin' Donut on. Give me a Jelly Donut. Stuff like that. So, yeah, like I said, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you guys got for Christmas. Also, leave me a comment tell me what you like about my gifts, what I got. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. If you're just newly watching this video or just stepping by my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm Blu Ray Lover79. This was my Christmas Day haul video. I just want to wish all my subscribers, I hope you guys had a great Merry Christmas. I hope we have a new good new year this year. New movies coming out, new Blu rays, new excitement on this channel. I'm also closing in on my one year anniversary in April. Um, like I said, I did say I was going to do a top five movies of 2014 which i enjoyed um i'm just waiting for that one movie to get here to make five so yeah like i said i'm blue red lover 79 this was my christmas day haul video i hope you guys enjoyed your holidays happy ha have a happy 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 new year i'll keep saying happy too much i'm happy i guess i'm happy because i got these gifts but uh yeah like i said happy new year to everybody here all my subscribers all the blue tubers and youtubers out there have a happy new year. I'm Blue Red Lover 79, and I'm now signing off this time. Later, guys.